And I'm so happy you are the country leader, which means mm -hmm. it's a position of seniority, position of responsibility. Uh, tell, tell us about what, what changes you had to make in your mindset to get to where you are, Shraka. So I think I've been fortunate to be in this field for uh, a good 20 plus years. I'm not going to say exactly how long, but <laughs> it's been over 20 years. Um, and I think there's been a very beautiful natural evolution in my, um, in my skill sets, in my competencies, and I think also in my natural traits, if I may add. And um, obviously, I started with loving what I do as a consultant. And I think when you love what you do, um, the, the, you evolve into somebody who can sell the solution, who can listen to the problems, who can come up with recommendations, who can make the client feel that we are listening to you, we're hearing your pain, mm. and um, we can shape something to help take away that pain. You know, it makes you a good diagnostic reviewer kind of a person that let's listen to you, let's hear what the problems are. And then let's come up with a solution. And of course, that doesn't come naturally unless you have a lot of work experience in that space. Very nice. Very nice. Which also means that, I mean, you started off as a consultant, which means more diagnostic skills. Now you're a leader, which means it's P&L responsibility. Right. 100%. Where yeah. does sales or business development fit in in all of this, uh, Shata? It's what I do full time now. <laughs> you, know, I, you know, people say, hey, you're the MD. And I'm like, no, I'm the saleswoman. You know, I am the, the key salesperson in this organization at my level. So the sales responsibility just skyrockets. Yeah. Does it matter that you're a woman, Shata? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> um, see, men have been in this field for the longest time and it's still dominated by men so there's no if so buts about that but you know there's been enough studies that suggest that women excel at b2b and i think men uh they have a very different approach and i think when you combine men and women in the workplace you can get the best of two but i think we all have to learn something from each other to be fair i've learned a lot from my male colleagues and i hope they learned something from me um, because I'm not, uh, not, there aren't many women at my level, to be honest with right, you. Right. So, but I know that the men appreciate what I do, but I think in their perspective, it's always taking much longer with a woman. She spends way too much time. So I'm mm. sure today, if we see the metrics, a woman is definitely spending at least three times more. This mm. is not a statistic, but I know my time, right? Mm. So I would probably spend three times more building that relationship versus the man. The man will go in and he will lose patience after the first meeting, second meeting, third meeting. I will continue to meet even for a year. And wow. some people will say, listen, you know, and I, and I actually did one study with one client and they said, sure, you're wasting time. It's been three years. You're meeting this client. Nothing is happening. I said, I know, but this is part of my job. And actually, I calculated the hours and I actually did this recently because I was trying to explain something to my team. I spent about 150 hours. 150, how much is that? When you look at the sales that happened after those three years, it came to 4 million. Wow. $4 million for $150, sorry, 150 hours of my time. Wow. So of course, as an MD, they'll say, if you're spending 150 hours, you're not going anywhere. But mm -hmm. those people remembered me. You know, the board level remembered me, the C, you know, the C executive, the middle management. I met with everybody. It's a large organization. But every time we close the deal, I mean, we close three or four deals, $4 million is a big deal for us. Exactly. You know, and so now, now, nowadays, they just pick up the phone and say, listen, if I need something, I know who to talk to. They'll come to me, even if I don't have the answer. <laughs> I'm like, let me check with my colleagues. They're like, okay, you check and let us know they, we don't need to talk to anyone, wow. you know. Whereas um, I think men are definitely faster at uh, turning, but I don't know if they're very good or as good as women in nurturing those relationships. Ah, that's a beautiful don't word, nurturing, right? Yes. That's the key. Very nice. Yeah, I think we are, we are special in that sense. There is a compassion that we show mm. um, that, you know, I mean, men are great. Honestly, I don't want to, I'm not here to, to ditch men in any way, but I think... <laughs> We do invest a lot of time. We do invest a lot more time. And of course, from if people look at just the general performance metrics, they'll say, Shada, it took you more time to convert that opportunity. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, 
I am not only converting an opportunity, I am creating a sustainable relationship. Very nice.